So today I'm going to be doing this makeup look. I'm about to go to my cousin's engagement party, so I thought I would do kind of more of an intense nighttime look. So I hope you enjoy, and I will see you guys in my next video. And also, don't mind this, I just put my lipstick on, and as you can see, a lot of pigmentation in this one, and this one was the Cherry Bomb Wet n Wild lipstick. So actually, I don't think I mentioned that as I was putting it on. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial, and I will see you guys in my next video. And please remember to like if you enjoyed the video, and share, and comment if you want to get in contact with me. So yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my makeup, and I'm about to go to my cousin's engagement party, so I think I want to do like kind of like a smoky eye. I'm thinking blacks and coppers maybe, but I'll see how I go. So I think I'm just going to get started and we'll roll from there. So the first thing I'm going to be using is my e.l.f. Eyelid Primer and I have this in Shear. I purchased this online from Beauty Bay or Beauty Joint. Um, it's just a wholesale makeup. first colour that I'm going to apply over my eyelid base is my Maybelline Expert Eyes Crown Jewels Eyeshadow. I'm going to be applying the lightest colour all over the eyelid. Um, I will be doing my foundation but after I do my eye makeup just because I think when you're playing with really dark eyeshadows you have quite a lot of fallout so I don't want that to kind of blend into my makeup or anything and I don't want to cake on the concealer either to try and hide any kind of fallout so that's why I'm just going to be doing the actual eyes first and then I'll be working from there. I'm also just going to be applying a little bit of this colour underneath the eyebrow and then all over so I want this as my base and also a highlight colour for the next colours and then I'm going to apply the colour to the lower lash line as well. I'm going to be using this really nice foil eyeshadow from Models Prefer Mineral Eyeshadow in Brown and Dirty. It's just a really kind of goldy, shimmery shadow. I'm applying this using an eye shading E55 brush all over the eyelid. Now I've applied that going in with my 28 Coastal Sense BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. I'm going to first apply this really nice light colour all over the eyelid just on top. I just want to brighten it up a little bit before I start placing all the intense colours. With a tapered E40 blending brush I'm going to first start putting in this really nice brownie toned shadow. This is just going to begin my transition in that crease line. I don't want to start with blacks just yet because I find it so easy to mess up. So this is just going to make it that much easier. I'm using a bit of tape. Lining it up to the outside of the eyebrow. And those deeper colours. So now I'm going to go in with this really nice foil very deep brown eyeshadow using a tapered pencil brush from Sigma. I'm going to start applying this into the crease line. Blending that out. Now going in with an even deeper colour, this one right here. I'm going to intensify that and the next colour I'll be grabbing is the black one. Going in with the black one, I'm just going to dip the brush in and slowly apply that black into the crease line. So now just getting that black colour, I'm just going to pat it on to the outer corner. Just to intensify that. Yeah? this? And now just to make it easier on myself, I'm going to go back to my Maybelline and the lightest colour. I'm going to just blend out that crease line ever so slightly. Doing eyebrows, I'm using my e.l.f. eyebrow kit in the colour light. I'm using my mineral eyeshadow from Michael Todd in Knock Me Down Key. It is a really nice bright kind of great burgundy colour. I'm just going to apply this halfway over the eyelid and then into the crease line. Now using my Maybelline Hyperglossy Liquid Liner in black. So I'm going to apply some liquid liner. I'm going to 
to be applying my foundation and I'll do my mascara before I move on. So I'm going to be using my one by one Volume Express Maybelline Mascara. Root to tip winding the brush. Now foundation L'Oreal True Match Foundation. Now I'm just going to do a little bit of bronzer, Thin Lizzy 6-in-1 Professional. For blush, I'm going to go with more of a neutral tone to suit my makeup and I'm going to be using this one here. Oops, there we go. Last but not least, I'm going to be doing lips. I'm using MAC Lip Liner in Well. Hey guys, so I thought I would just show you my complete outfit because I didn't really get to show you in um, at the start or anything. So this is the dress I'm wearing. This dress is from The Iconic and it is in a size extra small and yeah, so I love the dress. I'm showing my hair down and then, you know, oh and then the shoes. So I'm just wearing some ruby flats. So yeah, so I hope you like my outfit and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!